I'm here with Terry and Lori, who were students uh, at Kennedy High School in the 1970s. In fact, both had my dad as a teacher. And recently, Terry discovered this game. And look, it is called the Game of Richmond. It's just like Monopoly, but it has local Richmond businesses from, I don't know, from the 80s or 90s. Um, I, and let's open it up. Let's see uh, what else is, is here. Terry, tell us uh, where you found this. How did you find it? Well, we were cleaning out my, my parents' house in El Cerrito, and it was in the back of the closet, and I think it was part of a fundraiser for Richmond Museum, and uh, Mom and Dad must have contributed to the fundraiser and, and got this in exchange, is what I'm thinking, and they never played it, so. And here, yes, it says Richmond Museum, the, the limited edition. Look at that. Oh, wow, money. look at this. It has money, and it says, uh, the limited edition, sponsored by the Richmond Museum of History, preserving the diverse heritage of the greater Richmond community. And here, here is the board. Look at this. And we've got, like, wow, the Kiwanis Club, Park Florist, uh, Richmond Blueprint, uh, the law firm of Norris and Norris, yes. So, uh, Wilson and Crafter Mortuary, Ninamia Nursery, M. A. Hayes Insurance. Wow, all Hotel these uh, Mac. Hotel Mac, oh, all, the one. Baltic, yeah. all these businesses from Richmond over the years, and uh, I think I think this would be a good game to play, wouldn't it? Be fun. Uh, some of these businesses are no longer here. Some are still here, like. Uh, overall company contractors are still around and Sims Metal is still here. So it's sort of a little snapshot of Richmond history, right?